What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kyle Beats. If you don't know who I am. Today's video, um, I wanted to do basically just like a tutorial. I wanted to talk about five different things that you can do to pretty much improve your melodies instantly. Like literally right when you do these, you'll have a better melody. I wanted to do a tutorial, but I tried to just think about things that I haven't touched on ever and like haven't really talked about. And these are little tips, just things that I might do or other producers do that are just super helpful when trying to come up with the melody. And if you put these five things kind of into your arsenal, you'll just be able to make them faster, make better melodies quicker instantly let's get it so I hope you guys enjoy this I wanted to do just like a literally a tutorial so if you guys like this make sure to drop a like if you guys like this video let me know down in the comments what you think of this tutorial if you're new here make sure you subscribe hit that bell let's get 200,000 subscribers let's get it let's get into the video in three two one all right so for the sake of this tutorial instead of me making a melody right now I'm just gonna pull in a little file here uh, So I just pulled in a MIDI here from the Jungle Kit that I recently put out. Number one, first tip of the day is shifting, hold shift and press up or down and shift around the melody until you get to a better spot that you kind of like for that initial melody. This sounds a little muddy right now. It's kind of a little too low for me and muddy right now for the initial melody. If you don't like the melody, you're like, why don't I like it? Shift it up and down. Don't underestimate shifting a melody up and down. I think that's pretty good right there for me right now. I like to have these kind of low but it was too it was definitely too muddy at the start i definitely want to have them a little bit low though it's just like a good range you know what i mean for for that first melody step number two the second thing you can do to instantly improve your melodies is come in here and add and add other notes around it seems simple seems like it's easy to do basically with this i mean there's tons of melody tutorials out there to learn music theory and stuff like that but if you have an ear for it if you've developed an ear where you know what sounds good you can kind of just click around that doesn't sound good that sounds pretty good Honestly, if you can develop an ear for music um, and develop an ear to what sounds good, that's gonna be a lot better than just learning music theory. But like, even if something like is in the right scale, it's not always gonna sound good to you. You know what I mean? So developing ears more is, is just as important as learning music theory. But that just takes practice. But Clicking in notes is super important. I'm gonna extend it. It definitely needs to be repeated again just for the sake of this, uh, these notes on top. And I might put some on the bottom too. So as you can see right there, I kind of use both step one and step two. I was clicking around, listening with my ear to see what sounds good. And then I shifted it down because it sounded a little better shifted down. And when I shifted down the melody, I heard something else. I don't know why, but that's just how my ears are working. And I might not be completely there yet, but it's getting there. Step number three, of course you can add a counter melody and you can do stuff like that. But if you want to instantly improve your melodies and you're like, man, I don't, my brain is dead right now. I don't want to make a counter melody. What I'm going to do here is go to that initial melody, which is in this Electra X. I'm going to copy it. I have a piano loaded up and I'm going to just paste this right in here. 
and obviously you're gonna need to mix it a little bit. So I am going to load that piano to its own track, which I already did, and I'm gonna load the Electra X to its own track, and I'm just gonna mix it a little bit better so that they kind of blend together. That sounds a lot better than just this. And you can do many things with that. Like you can you can use the piano part for the for the verse and have the beat around just the verse part. And they're they're rapping like whatever type of music you're making. And then you can have this part be for the hook where it's nice and big and it gives it a bunch of different layers. Simple. Step four, I do this one a lot. This is a this is one that I like to do a lot. Um, if you're just if you're just been if I, if I <laughs> if I've been looping this for a long time and I'm just like I'm sitting here I've been looping it, looping it forever and I'm like damn I am so sick of this. But what you can do is just make sure this is FL12. <laughs> I don't have 20 yet. Make sure this loop tool is selected, or you can just load it up in here and just like do this and then just export as a wave file. I have a I have a file on my computer that just samples like if I'm making a beat and I do something crazy, I'll just like export that and just save it to maybe use it in the future, especially like drum loops and stuff like that. So I just exported that. Have it I have it ready to go in Edison right here. But a bing, but a boom. Tip number 4 is exporting your melody, changing the BPM and then importing it again and stretching it. So let me show you what I mean by that. I just showed you me exporting it. Now I'm gonna go in, say 150 was too fast. I wanna do like 132. I want it to be that type of beat. Um, so what I'm gonna do is open up in Edison right here, drag it in, simple. A lot of people know how to use Edison. And then what I'm gonna do is go to the None tool and then just stretch it on out to right here. So that's four bars where this number five comes in right here. And now I'm gonna play it. It's gonna be a lot like slower and it's gonna be lower pitched. And that's like sparking, that's immediately sparking new ideas of like what I wanna do. Another thing you can do a lot that I do too, is I come in here, and I don't know if it will work with this in my experience, but it might work. It's just double clicking and reversing it. A lot of things I do too with melodies is like messing with the pitch, man. Like when you mess around with the actual file, like the WAV file, the MP3 file, the pitch, and all that stuff, it makes it sound different. It's not the same as like shifting it down. Like when you export something and pitch it and then export it again and try and like do crazy stuff to it, it's gonna make it sound different and um. Tip number five, I hate to say it, but tip number five is getting good plugins. Now for this, you have to be self-aware. You have to know where you are when you're making music, when you're making beats, whatever. Um, you have to know where you're at. You have to know where your skill level is. I hate when I see people think their beats aren't good because they need Omnisphere or they need Keyscape or Electra or Silent or all the other ones that I don't have. But you get to a point where you need good plugins and uh, the plugins I use the most, Omnisphere, Keyscape, Electra X, they do give you a cleaner sound. They're a lot easier to mix. They're just better quality sounds. And then when you get to Electra X and Omnisphere, you can you can, you have more uh, flexibility designing your own sounds. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I want to go finish this real quick and make something dope out of it. And then um, yeah.
All right, so this beat is fire. It's crazy. That, that's pretty much the video today. I wanted to just give you guys a straight up tutorial uh, without trying to force in a vlog. I didn't want to finish this beat though because I didn't make a beat today. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, if you liked it, drop a like. Let me know if you liked it. Let me know what other random things that you guys don't know that you don't see any videos for. Um, Cause that's the, shit I, that's the stuff I wanna talk about. And there's definitely more stuff like that I can talk about. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. If you've watched this far on my video, wow, you're amazing, thank you. I think this was a long one. And um, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Until the next one, see you guys in the next one. What is that? Peace.